Yo, hey folks, how's it going? It's Kevin, Big K Horror. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, this past Christmas, a few days ago, uh, I had family members get me um, a few presents, you know, uh, in relation to horror films. So I'm on, I figured do a horror haul video. Um, so starting off, I'm going to do this real quick. Because the last time I tried to record this video, uh, YouTube wouldn't accept it. So I'm going to just fly through this. All right. So there's a site that my mom's addicted to right now called Etsy.com. Um, I guess it's like things of interest people find. And there are people out there who handcraft things and make things and sell it on the site, Etsy. Anyway, with that said, my mom got me some surprise gifts. Um, started, first starting off is um, these uh, light switch plates. Uh, one's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster, and the other is Freddy Krueger, all right? I know I'm going to hang this one up and use this one first. All right, uh, next up. Now, these were awesome that she got me, um, and they're very comfortable, too. But um, they're <laughs> Freddy Krueger pillowcases that she had made. All right, so, uh, and I also got this uh, Slum Party Massacre shirt. Alright, um, so to the movies and stuff. Okay, so for Blu-rays, I didn't get much in Blu-rays, but, you know, there are good collections. Uh, I got the Nightmare on Elm Street Blu-ray set of the first seven films. Um, and every movie looks great and high def and everything. It's very worth it. Uh, next up, I got Shout and Scream Factory's uh, trilogy of Amityville Horror. Um, and it comes with, you know, this case right here. Um... And, you know, it's the original, you know, part two and part three in 3D. All right, next up, I got, uh, as far as, like, VHSs go, I got um, this movie I've always wanted to see. And I finally got to see it, and it's a bizarre 80s horror flick, but it's kind of like a rip-off. Uh, not a rip-off, but it's kind of like a take on Nightmare on Elm Street and a mix of the movies within a movie of Demons 1 and Demons 2 by Lamberta Bava. I'm not comparing it to Demons, but the movies within the movies, um, because these these kids go to Alcatraz and stir up shit, and someone gets possessed and starts ripping apart every one of them. And I'm talking about Slaughterhouse Rock. And now, if you're an 80s horror fan, this is a, a fun one to see if you're into all that, if you're into 80s horror. And just, just it's very 80s, right down to the music by Devo. It's, it's got, um, uh, I forget her name, but, um, Tony Basil, you know, hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, hey, Mickey. Yeah, she's in here. Uh, it's just a bizarre movie, but I loved it. Okay, and, uh, one of the VHS I got is, um, it completes my collection of the Roger Corman, some, or the Massacre collection, Involving some party massacre one, two, three, Sorority House Massacre one and two, and Cheerleader Massacre, but this is oh, AKA Sorority House Massacre three, and that is hard to die. And uh, glad I finally had this baby to round up that whole massacre collection because I'm a big fan of it. But yeah, so it's, um, it's babes, boobies, and big guns. All right. Um, next up, uh, as far as um, speaking of. VHS, um, I got a couple of, uh, stuff from, um, Camp Motion Pictures, you know, the retro 80s, uh, horror collection, and I got the big box VHS, and, well, it's also on DVD, but, uh, it has a big, it's the big box of the basement, which is supposedly a lost Super 8, you know, anthology horror film, um, and, you know, it has a red, it comes with, um, a red tape, really cool. I love it. Um, all right. I'm not saying I love the movie. Um, I actually have yet to watch it still. So, by me, I love the package of that. All right. Uh, as far as my DVDs go, um, uh, this was an early uh, Christmas present for me, for me actually. But uh, I'm glad it finally is out in the United States and America after seven, eight years or whatnot. Um, and it's All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. I'm a big fan of this film. I have the UK Blu-ray. And for those who are curious, uh, the DVD is in more high def than the UK Blu-ray from a couple years back. Um, but I've always, I, I also want this copy because I love this poster. I mean, it's very simple, but it's very cool. And I love that uh, tagline of, uh, it's the kind of party where everybody gets wasted. All right, uh, next up is uh, this movie I have still yet to see, but it's a slasher movie that I know a lot of people have liked. And that is uh, Evil Laugh. 
So I'm finally going to check this baby out. All right. Next up is another Camp Motion Pictures movie I got, and that is Ghoul School. I've wanted to see this one for quite a while, so looking forward to that. Uh, next up is um, the, the, this classic German gore flick that from 96, 97 that I've seen already before, but I finally have in my collection. It's The Burning Moon. Um, I mean, incredibly gory, nasty movie, but it's so outrageous that it's not to be taken too seriously. Um, and, and the last of the movies I got uh, is the slasher film on DVD, uh, Night School. Um, always been a big fan of this one as well. All right. So, um, and next, um, got, uh, this 2014 Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, wall calendar. Um, it's got all sorts of different artwork and whatnot, and even some of the original artwork, like part fours for January and stuff, but, so I'm glad to have this. Um, next up is the books I got, because I am a fan of books on the horror movie genre, so, um, to complete my collection of the horror films of the 1970s, 1980s series by John Kenneth Muir. I got his horror films of the 1990s, finally. Glad to have this baby. I can't read, wait to read it. Okay, then uh, next up is, um, if you're a fan of like 1980s trashy horror and shot on, horror, shot on video horror and everything, I highly suggest to pick up this book called Bleeding Skull um, by uh, Ziemba Budnik. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's all about the 80s Aussie of horror films that were trashy and cheap and shot on video and gore and everything. So this is an awesome book to have right here. Um, if you're a fan of horror magazines like Fangoria, Whorehound, you know, and, and Deep Red, all the ones in between, you know, Famous Monsters of Film and everything, and even like those like, really rare ones from the 80s that people were making in their houses with Xeroxes and shit, uh, that, you know, so this book here, Xerox Xerox, or Xerox Foro, however you pronounce that word, um, is an 800-page 800, uh, 800 book about, it is the wild world of the horror film fanzine, you know, so horror film magazines and stuff, but it goes into in-depth detail about every one of publication that came out about horror films. So, uh, looking forward to reading this one. Um, and the last but not least, I got, I uh, feel like the kid in me, you know, this Christmas because uh, I got these two presents, or they're, they're kids, they're toys, kind of, but uh, I'm, I'm so going to use them and do them. Uh, the first is um, Operation Lab Alien Autopsy. Like, you, you have gut bags and stuff, and you have to find, like, um, alien organisms and parasites and the tract and implants and stuff like that, but yeah. And uh, last but not least of my presents, I got this fun-looking Dr. Dreadful Zombie Lab. And it's like, um, looks gross, tastes great, and you make, you know, delicious zombie brains, uh, zombie skin, um, barf, you know, all this crazy-ass shit. But, uh, so, yeah, looking forward to opening that just for a fun night. Anyway, so that was my Christmas right there, and... Um, you know, and, and my family got me these presents, so I was very appreciative because, you know, I love my horror stuff. So anyway, so that's my horror haul for this Christmas of 2013, and, uh, um, be doing another video soon of a review or something. All right, peace out. Bye.